Hello guys, welcome again. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use the powerful library MOOCs that used to create a routing in Go languages. Here in this application, if you see, I'm using a default routing applications or library and perfectly I am just running this application. In my previous video, I have explained how I created these in Go languages. In this video, I am going to explain you that how you can replace this default library it's called HTTP library with the MOOCs library. So what we can do here, first of all, I have to create the object of MOOCs library i say new router like this so i save it automatically the package will insert here the package is inserted now in place of http here i will replace the r because this is the roots for root for about page, I am defining a root, just replacing this and again I am replacing for contact also. Now I am telling the default HTTP listener web server that you have the roots on this MOOCs library. Now I save it and try to run it again. You see, try to run it again. So we will face one problem that it would not identify the library yeah, I see you that I just uh, clear the cache of my web page or my browser I refresh it you see that this information the CSS and image gone why gone because this MOOCs library is not able to find out my static assets file server directory so for that i have to use one more thing that r dot path prefix like this here i have to assign the root which i am giving here then i have to call the handler like this under this handler i have to call this function HTTP strips and S. So this assets directory I have to link with the MOOCs router by defining a path prefix then handler and giving the link to this and I just make it comment. Now I just save it and run once again. Allow it and try to refresh it and you see the once again the website is running perfectly and it also able to find out the static folder using MOOCs routing library so you have seen that without any effort just simply we have converted the default routing application into MOOCs powerful spatial routing application just because of these few lines so in place of http we just replace the object of routing mox routing object and for assigning the static folder we have used this path prefix and the option this one i can write this one also and handler handler of this if it found this prefix it replaced with this directory So if you learn anything from this video and you like this video, kindly do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching my video.